Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to the XCOM Tactical Legacy Pack where things are gonna go better this time. They just are, cause they have to. That was really bad, that thing that happened on the last run. I One of the worst things I can imagine occurring, which is gonna blow up the mission objective. It looked like the enemies might do it, and I wanted to, I wanted to get it done first. Let him know who's boss. Okay, I mean this is, so far, looking pretty familiar. Alright, if I... Let's see, the optimal place to go up would be right in front of that ladder, right? That still leaves me just a little bit short. That's a shame. I was hoping that with a little bit more careful aim I'd be able to actually make it all the way up to the sign on the first turn. Because if this does actually unfold the same way, it would be really cool to be in position before their, uh... Let's do this. Uh, before their detection zone hits that. I advance. Deep covered. Man, deep cover is such a bad skill. It's like, it's such a completely do-nothing skill. I don't remember what the other choice is at that level, but it's it's better. What? I moved in the space that didn't have the. Okay. Good start. The rules are apparently somewhat dynamic. It's a nice way of putting what happened there. Huh. Well. We're all too far back. This is bad. What is in the area that I... Okay, nothing. The only thing I can remote start would be terrible to shoot at. I'm not too worried about the uh, the robot, honestly. I was last time, but like, how much damage can Lily can almost kill it by herself, and we may as well just do this. Also, I'm kind of surprised that it can't uh, shoot me as I move up to this position. But yeah, let's just drop this thing. Not even worry about all the armor. Alright, as it stands, we're not super likely to get any kills here. If we could, uh... We could maybe get another Death from Bub uh, trigger. I don't think... Like, he shouldn't have an action, right? Because we moved, and then we fired. So that's two actions. Death from above refunded us an action, but it doesn't say that it does that. It says that it makes the shot only cost a single action. So probably the way that this actually works under the hood is that it does refund one action to you. It's just that, generally speaking, it's sniper rifle, or, uh, sniper rifle eats both of your actions, then you get one back, so now you have one. Um, which means that if we were to create a situation where we could have another kill, I might be able to even get another kill after that. Which kind of makes me want to uh, try that. So who can get into a position to take a good shot? I might be able to... Like the This guy is my main concern. I guess we can't really threaten him. But I could drop down to right here. And maybe threaten that guy. On the move. And I don't really care about my stealth here. I'm fine losing that. They've seen me. Yeah, I know. I care about the purifier way more than I care about the shield bearer. The shot's less likely to hit, but the upside's really upside. Like, way up. Wow. Okay, he just crit it clean in half. 
No explosion, which I'm a little disappointed about, but, uh, you know, I'll live. So I can't get to a position where I can see that. We could go for the slash. This is a pretty bad spot to be standing in. Actually, I'm really far away from that guy. I'm going to go for the slash. Because a hit on this makes this guy super easy to snipe. Looks like a miss. Yep, okay. Great, cool. Uh, and then I can just try to shoot him at point blank range here. Oh, we could grapple now. Actually, yeah, let's do that. A useful aid. All right, we don't have to put very much damage on him at all, at all, to make the sniper shot work, right? Yep, and it does just completely refund the action. Well, that's definitely not how that's supposed to work, but I'm not going to argue about it. Seems okay. Okay, so now we can put a bunch of people into Overwatch and be a very serious threat to that guy. Uh, who... Sorry. Can anyone actually get into a position to uh, see him if he moves? Not really, huh? I guess this will give Smiley the shot if he decides to come up here and challenge us. And this will make it more likely that he does try to come up and challenge since he no longer has a good, uh, a good target down here. Where is safe to put you? You could actually just drop all the way down here. So obviously, I want to try to scatter out the next pack as quickly as possible. Yeah, let's do this. Wait, what was that? What were they building in that factory? Did I just jump over a conveyor line covered in donuts? Okay, so here's the gatekeeper pod. Well, that was nice of him. So let's see about engaging with this gatekeeper pod a little bit earlier. Whoa, what just happened? For all its sophistication and power, the alien's tech is actually very... I think that car exploded. When I think of all the lost time Dad and I spent trying to play catch-up instead of just learning from them. I'm not saying Valen was right, but there has to be a middle ground. If we want to win this war. So yeah, somehow they blew up this car, but no, none of them took any damage from it? Like, what? How did they blow it up, then? Can the sniper see them from his current position? Yes. We should take our free reload. And then I guess... I guess we drop the Claymore in the middle of them and have the Sniper start us off, because this seems pretty powerful. And I think that should be a position the Sniper can see. It requires patience. This may reveal... that Chrysalid's going to run forward and definitely reveal the Reaper. Well... So be it. He's a tough guy. He'll figure it out. But we are, we are like, really on the clock here. Okay, so... The clone popped over there. That's not a big deal. Oh, dear. <laughs> right through that cover I was using. Hey, here's a problem. That, uh, gatekeeper... Or rather, that, uh, that reaper is right in the middle of all of the stuff I need to be shooting at. 
He might be dead. I kind of got him killed. But also, like, we are really on the clock here. Uh, you must be kidding me. Only 49%? I hate the fact that, uh... 40% defense is just, like, a thing they can have. You know what? I'm gonna hail a bullets the gatekeeper. We're gonna get through this gatekeeper right now. If I kill the gatekeeper, it's, it's gonna seriously damage my reaper, though. And the, um... I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. He, he's dead anyway. Whatever. The way this worked out with them surrounding him like that, I don't think we. I don't think he's savable. So I will not have vision of the Archon from here, but that's fine. She's not shooting at the Archon. Okay, 100% hit chance on the Gatekeeper for a ton of damage. Ah, uh, but not quite enough. She left it at 2. That actually does really suck. Huh. Wait, why would you not be able to see... Huh. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me that... We can see the Codex, but not any of the other enemies from this position. So I have to move and waste an action. Yeah, I have to, though. Actually do have to. So the Gatekeeper is pretty important. Let's see, Whiplash is pretty likely to get the kill and then leave me with a gunshot to somebody else. This is definitely the situation where we use Whiplash. Oh, you're kidding me, it didn't kill the Chrysalid. I was kind of hoping that that would also kill the Chrysalid, give my Reaper a chance to survive. Oh, uh, well then, we'd better kill the Chrysalid now. Now the only problem left is the Archon, but it is a big problem. And you're the only person who has an action. Well, that's not ideal. Okay, Grappling Hook is bad. We just run to here and shoot the Codex, which is fine. Yeah, all right. Let's shoot one of the Codices. The other thing we could do is I could deploy the Flashbang, actually. Flashbang's my own guy a little bit. But leaving these two with no access to their special abilities and lowered aim might result in my Reaper surviving. My other option is to go for the 47% crit on this guy. Can I grapple? Oh, we could grapple pretty close, actually. Uh, if I do this, is it going to pull? Man, I wish I felt confident that this position wouldn't pull. I'm going to go for the shot on the, uh, on the Archon. My concern with the flashbang is that this guy's just standing in the open. They don't have to have very much aim to hit him and they probably will be able to do it through the flashbang. So I think we gotta try to just take this Reaper down. North of 50% crit. And a crit will be lethal. Because the, the Talon rounds add damage to crits and stuff. Right? Plus one damage. On, I thought it was more than one damage. Well, still. Also, apparently I have two superior hair triggers, so who knows? Maybe one of those will activate. Never mind. Turns out it was fine. I had it under control. Air trigger? Can we get even one more kill? Nope, just implacable. Uh, you're fine where you are? Well, I could run to higher cover. Now you're fine where you are. That actually went pretty alright. <laughs> 
Okay, I think we're, we're going to get over there in time to save that. So we do have to deal with two of these guys, but they're unlikely to actually make moves, right? They're just going to do, like, psionic bombs and stuff, which is not a real concern. This one may just shoot, yeah. Please don't die. Ooh, critical. But non-lethal. Okay, I think this should not be a big problem. Where is my... Oh, right. Here. This is the unit I wanted. I was I was about to say we could just stock the thing, but no, we cannot, in fact, just stock the thing. That's, That's fine. We'll just run up a little bit, reload. This means I am giving the uh, sectopod another turn to shoot that thing, which may or may not be really, really bad. It's ridiculous that uh, I don't get to know that, but I don't. I don't think this should pull. Oh, right, the turret's there. That's fine. Sniper's on that. Why would you ever get a non-critical hit, right? I'm gonna go for this. Okay. That makes things a little bit easier. We can probably finish the turret off right now. Those EMP rounds, or the blue screen rounds rather, are really, uh, really, really doing work. So it would be very bad for me to pull the sectopod this turn, but we also do need to try to get close to it. I guess I can, uh, I can shadow up move in on it and then make the uh, make the call once we know exactly where it is. Do I think this will definitely get vision? This is more likely to get vision, but also it's a very precarious position. Here, this will probably work. This will probably wor work and be a little bit safer. Okay, another turret. That's not entirely great. And so now we should know... Where we can move this guy to safely, it looks like right here. It's about as good as that's getting. None of the spaces on the way have vision of any of the enemies, including the turret. Okay. This turn we have to engage the sectopod to prevent it from destroying the thing, possibly. That's very compelling. Any of that in this place. These people are suffering. Was only one point of armor shred, I guess. Are they completely unaware of us? I thought for sure that would pull them since we were revealed and everything. Well, I can haywire protocol the sectopod. My guess is that this is not going to be super likely to work. I really don't want to increase the target's aim and defense stats. What's the range on capacitor discharge? Okay. I'd have to get a little bit closer. We can do that. We can certainly get a little bit closer. I kind of want to pull them toward me. I need them to be a little closer. Uh, let's see if we can get it to recognize that I'm here and come fight. Uh, it doesn't really seem to have any interest. Hit him with every 
everything you got. Well, I killed one of them. They, they really, really do not care about my presence here. This is so strange. I was hoping I'd be able to make it a little further here. Well, unfortunately, we're definitely not going to be able to get into firing range. I, must run. I guess I could just run up here, get ready to fire next turn. Can indeed fire this rocket and try to blow up that car. I mean, the car is on fire. It looks like it hasn't exploded yet. Not, not quite enough to trigger the explosion. I don't understand how you can't see them. I guess this... Like, this thing is between him and them, but the sectopod is larger than this is. My reload's free, but I think there's only two enemies left alive over here anyway. So I'm just going to kill zone like that. And then I'm going to reconceal you so that you don't aggro the turret. Oh man, I wish you could move one more space. This is so much better cover. Moving to designated position. I could fire at the thing, I'm very likely to crit it, but I'm also very unlikely to get a kill. And taking the shot here does turn the turret on, which almost guarantees that I'll be shot at this range. Well, that's a little dramatic, but it, it makes it very likely I'll be shot. The thing is, if I shoot it right now, kill zone will will have a real chance of killing it. But yeah, I gotta go for it. So we're going to get shot by this turret. Hopefully the sectopod is going to choose to move before firing. Nope, it's going into firing mode right away, it looks like. Uh, it's firing some kind of lightning field. Uh, huh. I don't know what that was. There we go. There's that kill zone. And I believe it will now explode and do even more damage over there. <laughs> yup, that's pretty good. Spectre was killed, Elite Priest was killed. That was an alright turn, I guess. That version of that mission went a lot better. <laughs> also, we got through that pretty quickly. There was a lot of early bird bonus on that. We didn't actually kill the turret. It's kind of strange that it didn't make me kill the turret. I might have borrowed a few things from Masha along the way. I'm sure she won't miss them any more than the people she borrowed them from. So the Wraith suit is not, I think, significantly better than the spider suit. The war suit has the blaster bombs instead of the, uh, the rocket launcher, which is something. But we could move up to everybody having the tier 3 version of the PCS that is appropriate to them, and that actually may well be worth doing. Sharpshooter gets superior perception, which honestly is probably not necessary. Although I guess it makes the Deadeye more likely to work. Uh, agility and conditioning are both kind of irrelevant. Agility is, is very... I think agility is borderline useless. If it is the dodge, which I'm remembering it to be. Uh, speed on the Specialist and the Skirmisher is relevant, though. Perception on the Reaper is probably not really relevant. Like, I really wish the Grenadiers got Perception PCSs. So 
So do I want to exchange my rocket launcher for a blaster bomb, or do I want a little bit of aim and, and speed on some of my units? I think we'll go this way. Oh, hey, the ranger picked up rapid fire. That's awesome. Threat assessment is very, very good. Yeah, there's some cool stuff going on here. Okay, I think it is extremely likely that we're on gold this time. Chief Engineer Zog, day 145. Took a few days, but I managed to decode the data I recovered from the scout. The damn thing the AI managed to destroy anything pertaining to its civilian scans. But I did manage to recover a concealment trashed advent transport ship a few sectors away. Those ships run on the same power supply as the Avenger. If there's a functioning stabilization unit in the wreckage, we can finally turn on the reactor core. Without blowing up the entire ship. The impact of this is... Uh, hold on. Rover! No! Uh, end log. We're on approach to the crashed alien transport ship in hopes of recovering a functioning power stabilization unit. Advent ships seem to communicate on some sort of internal network, so we have to assume they have the same intel we do. Still, we have a job to do, no matter the cost. Alright, this seems like a good pack to, uh, spend some serious early effort on. Getting rid of an Andromedon and an Avatar right away would be big. Uh, really, you have... Oh, yeah, there is, in fact, a thing to get on top of. Unfortunately, not a lot of cover up there. We could do this and run to the chimney. Gotha. I think we should still have pretty good vision from there. Affirmative. Nope. I was wrong. Well, so the question is... Do I want to run back over to here? Probably not, right? Are we close to the... Okay, we are close to the mission wall. Oh! Hey, that's a little bit better. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna try to get up there next turn. Since we can run to a thing and also fire. She is fast as hell, which is super cool. Uh... Rolling out. So we picked up some new skills. Uh, for one thing, we now have Judgment. When targeted by any attack, the enemy has a chance to panic. That's totally fine. Uh, we picked up Battle Lord, which is just like respond uh, with an Overwatch after every enemy does something, which is pretty cool. Uh, not something I've actually gotten to uh, to use very much. I advance. Get get some. St we still have hunker down, which is, you know, whatever. Oh, they are so extremely sitting there in the air. Transport vessel, what the old vets used to call a UFO. For a time, we thought this was the worst the aliens would throw at us. We were wrong. You can see Florian picked up cereal, and I'm sure if you're watching this point in, this, in the series, you probably saw us use cereal a little bit during the first campaign. It's really, really good, it turns out. Okay, what do I want to do here? Obviously, there is a, there's a pretty good opportunity to use a grenade. The question is... Whose grenade? We could grapple up to here, drop the grenade, and still have an action left. Like, it could be drop grenade, use whiplash. Like, there's a lot of options. It's probably not Lily, because she has the EMP bomb. I would like to save this unit's explosives for later, since they're more powerful and they're uh, better against enemies who are more spread out than the normal grenades are. 
So, like, maybe what we do... Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grappling hook up as close as we can without getting revealed. And then we're gonna open up with this grenade. This is a little bit of a silly open, but I think this is right. And she's got the ability to throw whiplash and then jump back behind cover, or throw whiplash and then fire her weapon if that seems to be appropriate, and we'll figure it out. But I want to know where we stand with some of these enemies right now. Okay, so. Whiplash, pretty unlikely to hit. What does our sniper shot look like right now? 100% chance to put some serious damage into that guy, but if we could get his health down a little bit first, we might be able to get some death from above. You have exactly 8 health, so actually, this seems like a pretty good play. We got a 50% crit on the Andromedon. We just have to hurt it a little bit. Which Lily can certainly do. Although, I kind of want her to be available to turn it off once it switches modes. Oh, he has rapid fire now. So Rapid Fire is, like, the better version of Chain Shot. You get the second shot no matter what happens with the first one. So you can really get a lot of damage with this. Shadow Strike to offset the additional Rapid Fire aim penalty. I'm gonna go for this, I think. Well, hold on. I had to make sure we actually have enough actions to get the Andromedon messed up here. We could just have Raven throw out... Oh! Attach a Claymore onto an enemy! The homing Mine will explode upon that enemy taking damage. So that's an interesting use of the Claymores that I was not aware of. When you kill a target with Banish, you, just, you will continue firing at another enemy until you run out of ammo. It's a shame that they haven't bothered to equip the Reaper with um, an expanded magazine or anything to make that a little bit more useful. Let's see, we could do... We could do this Claymore. That would line up that Andromedon to be popped by the Sniper. I actually like this quite a bit. Boy, that was not enough damage. But, Deadeye is now a guaranteed hit. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, okay, this is under 12. Let's take that. Oh, that's where that, uh, that Perception PCS comes into play. And Death from Above is just going to keep triggering, so that's cool. Uh, I will try that shot, maybe. Hold on. So Lily needs to probably just Haywire Protocol this thing off. Because I don't think we have time to do enough damage to it right now. I need you to just leave me alone for a second. Her Gremlin's pretty upgraded at this point. The shutdown should be pretty easy. The control would not be meaningless. Like, we have enough, we have enough stuff going on here that, uh... An extra pair of hands would be welcome, but failing this would really suck. I'm just going to go for the guaranteed shutdown. Alright, so he's off for a turn. That'll give us some time to breathe. And now we're mostly concerned with the, uh, with the Avatar. I want to get a little closer to it first. 
And this is actually, this gives me a flanking angle? No, it does not. Well, I'm still closer. Yeah, each one of those is a 71% chance to hit with a 77% chance for a great big crit. Let's do that. That's a shame. Wow, really? You missed both of them. That's very not good. You did an extremely bad job. Uh... So Smiley can get a proper flank. And we can afford to just run up on him and take the flank shot because he'll teleport after we deal damage to him. Heading to that location. This might be a good time to rupture. The guaranteed crit plus he takes plus three damage from all attacks in the future and this strips his armor and it uh, hollow targets him. All right, so where's he teleporting to? All right. That right there is part of the reason that I hadn't been in a big hurry to use Flowers' attack. Boy, that's quite a bit of damage. Does Wrath have a better chance to hit you? Boy, it sure does! Okay, yeah, let's grapple over there and ripjack that guy. Oh, I don't quite have them anymore. But we don't have any other actions, so I should just take the shot on the Codex. This might be a kill. I suppose I could reload and go into kill zone. But the Andromedon shell is definitely not going to move because it's turned off. And the other two just move by teleportation, which doesn't trigger Overwatch anyway. Yeah, that's a very productive turn we just had there. <laughs> Death from above with the Dark Lance, or yeah, the Dark Lance, is very, very dumb. Well, there's absolutely no reason for me not to take this shot. Let's just prep this guy for the dustbin. Wow, he's burning badly. I guess the burn is also benefiting from the rupture. Okay, now he knows how it feels. systems on these ships weren't advanced compared to other alien fighters. Probably why we were actually able to shoot a few out of the sky. Too bad. I'd love to get my hands on a plasma cannon with you today. Gonna need to reload soon! Alright, just a casual 17 damage. No big deal. Okay. You can implacably get your ass back over here. Well, that's... that's very embarrassing. He's stationary. He actually can't move. It's alright, Lily's got it. No time to spare. I'm gonna approach a little bit conservatively here. We could have moved forward a lot more, but I want to make sure people are back in good position to participate. Uh, the corner of the building's on fire, so let's not have you run up there. Stay a little bit away from that. Good to go. Uh, I mean, for right now, there's not a lot of compelling reasons for me to move away from this position. that can move virtually undetected in the sky. That's what we have here. The aliens' ability to move material and troops during the war was overwhelming. These ships are a big reason why. Moving out. Wow, nothing, really. Okay, well, we can move up pretty aggressively, it seems. Yes, that was very dramatic. I'm going for it. Boy, you... 
God, I wish he could have gotten the movement PCS or the aim. It's just like anything other than agility. A long approach. I should probably start moving this guy. We're going to have to um, fight inside this building, and he's not going to be useful anymore from up here. Uh, I didn't get any of that. I think what he said was, I think the last word he said was a five. It's two years of high school French at work right there. Not that this is all a bad thing. Our own Avenger is based off this design. I'll bet she'd be invisible if we could ever get her in the sky. We need that power stabilizer. As far as I could tell, the power stabilizer was still in good condition. And there's going to be a lot of enemies left on this mission, right? Where the hell are they all? Stepping off. Right, it's super weird that we haven't seen anything on our approach to the UFO. We're right up on this UFO, and there's just nobody? This is making me nervous, like this is a trap or something. It feels like a trap. Oh, that is pretty lucky for us. Getting to start up like this. Okay, so uh, she picked up the Guardian skill between this mission and the last one, which means she basically just gets to keep overwatching over and over again. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Setting them on fire would have been cool. What else is in that pack? Oh, a Gatekeeper! Okay. That's pretty nice. Eight damage through the armor. Very strong. She's got to be out of ammo. <laughs> he gets to teleport again because we did damage to him a second time. But it's getting ever closer to reality. She may not look the way Dad initially envisioned, but she'll fly. I guarantee it. Uh, it doesn't look like those are going to provide cover. What am I going to do with you? We can move to here, and then open the door and throw a claymore through, and have somebody else shoot it. Oak says I am to obey. I like that. Carefully open this door, and ho! Oh, there's a chrysalid right there. That's pretty weird. I'm allowed to remote start some things in this area. The inside of that wall, for some reason. Okay, well let's not do any of those. Those are all terrible. All right. There's the shot. Somebody figure it out. The good news is it's 100% guaranteed to be shootable. Uh, this might be a good moment, actually, for... Man, do I really want to send you up here? I'm worried that suicide if we can't actually kill everything. I think dropping a grenade on the Claymore probably detonates it. It certainly should, right? This is directly on top of the Claymore. Let's find out. out. Yes, it, it seems that that did in fact detonate the Claymore. Alright, if you have a shot, if you can get the Gatekeeper, we could probably just kill it right now. It's not super likely to work. But... I really would love for that gatekeeper to be dead. Yeah, we're, um, like, incredibly powerful. To a degree where it feels kind of unfair. I really want to get above him. This puts me in a pretty vulnerable position, but it also probably lets me dead-eye that guy. Which I really want to do. 
76% not bad. He's not even kind of looking through the scope there. He just kind of pressed his face against the side of it. Oh, really? Well, I have to say, I think this was a... This was maybe not your best play. It's a shame Rapid Fire is such a long cooldown, because Rapid Fire right now would be bananas. Well, let's get that 93% crit chance. Wow. Not only did he not crit, it was a graze. I hate, I hate the graze mechanic. Okay, can I... I could go over here. I guess there's not that much stuff left to threaten me. This will give me a flank shot from above. Wow, still not really that good of a, a shot. And he still has all of his armor, which sucks. How about some of this? Okay, so he's going to burn for some at the beginning of his turn. Armor does not protect you from fire damage, as far as I'm aware. Uh, this might be a good time for Battle Lord. Although, I only have one shot left, so... This is only the second pack of this mission, right? There's going to be a lot of enemies left. I'm just going to do a normal overwatch for the uh, for this guy, which I'm sure is going to be an issue. Alright, well he's going to get to do a cool thing, which is a shame, but we get to kill him right afterward. And with him being on fire, he doesn't have access to um, all of his abilities. Oh wow, he took my sniper's head clean off. Well... To be honest with you, I thought we were going to kill him for sure, so that's why I felt comfortable doing this. Um, it is very crappy that he dodged the 93% hit, 93% crit uh, shotgun shot. Mostly I think this game is very well designed and like the mechanics are really good, but dodge is, dodge is bad. Dodge is a bad design. Lily tried to duck the shotgun shot, and then he just shot low into the side of her anyway. It's kind of an asshole. That doesn't quite get me the flank, huh? Well, I have hail of bullets available at least. Oh! Great! Sure, why wouldn't there be a huge pack of Advent crouched in the corner? Uh, well... That's pretty bad. Boy, that's pretty really bad. All of a sudden, I... Do I have to ignore the... Now, we had to finish this, right? I'm pretty close to this guy being dead. I'm so close to this guy being dead. Although we can't actually kill him. I think I had to do that. So now he's he, he can be killed by anybody with pretty much any attack. He's going to teleport inside the building so nobody has vision of him, though. Because he is a coward. History's greatest coward. Uh, we might have to do something crazy. Gosh, I wish... So, like, they give you all kinds of interesting tools, but they give them to you in the worst way possible. Like, it's a very difficult to take advantage of them. So the blue screen rounds dramatically reduce the hack defense of enemies, which is why you don't put them on your specialist. Because you want to be able to reduce enemy hack defense and then hack them. As it is right now, if I shoot at the sectopod, I can't hack it this turn. But I think it may be the case that we need to... we need to hack it. So... I'm gonna run... I'm trying to... does it have the reticle? I can't tell because the objective marker's in the way. Yeah, okay. 
From no, from here I cannot see it. Okay, from here I can. What is we can take that. the Haywire Protocol chance to take this thing over? It's pretty low, right? Yeah, pretty low. So I'm not going for that. We're going to shoot it once with the blue screen rounds and then try to hack it again next round. Because I need... I could use an extra pair of hands. Oh, or we're going to get a lucky execute. Lucky execute, right. Uh, well, here's the bad news. That sectopod was right next to the objective. Okay, let's give that another go. Chief Engineer Zog, day 145. I didn't... It took a few days, but I managed to decode the data I recovered from... That's a little frustrating. The damn thing the AI managed to destroy anything pertaining to its civilian scans. But a little extremely frustrating. ...of a crashed advent transport ship a few sectors away. Those ships run on the same power supply as the Avenger. If there's a functioning stabilization unit in the wreckage, we can finally turn on the reactor core. Without blowing up the entire ship. The impact of this is... Uh, hold on. Rover, no! Uh, end log. I mean, I'm pretty well, much just going to replicate the, the beginning. Transport ship ...in hopes of recovering a functioning power stabilization unit. Advent ships seem to communicate on some sort of internal network. So we have to assume they have the same intel we do. Still, we have a job to do, no matter the cost. Time to motor. Advancing quickly. Move, move, move! Got it Think covered. Point. It is a little bit of a shame that there's not more variance between attempts because a Delta class transport like, we definitely already have a functional a strategy here, right? Call a UFO. For a time, we thought this was the worst the aliens would throw at us. We were wrong. I guess what I actually want to do is throw a homing mine, right? Because then, instead of shooting the Claymore, we could shoot the enemy to start things off. So yeah, let's do that. Let's throw a homing mine onto the Andromedon. Ah, uh, but then I don't get to hit everybody with the explosion. I mean, I already... Yeah, okay, here. We can just barely hit everybody, and I think I really should. The trap is set. Yeah, I think that's worth doing. Ah, oh, that's annoying. He took cover from the direction the sniper is in. Fixable, though. Man, really? Has a pair of 92% shots. That's very crummy. Uh, Alright, where is my... Yeah, this guy. So, the bad news is that we cannot get death from above on very many targets because of the way they chose to hide this time. Just have to take what I can get. This, this next shot is a little bit worse than I would like, thanks to him taking that good cover. Alright, we got there. So now we have the clone to worry about. And I don't even actually have to shut this guy down. We could just take him out. It's not a big deal. 
Well, I suppose we have that. Uh, sorry, when I said clone, of course I meant Avatar. But we also do have uh, the Codex to worry about. So... Really wish there was more cover to grapple into, you know? Shame we're probably not going to be able to get a good rupture off. Yeah, I'm way better off just hitting with the hail. So I could just jump to right above him and really let him have it. Yeah, I like that a lot. A useful aid. I know I'm putting myself out of the open, but... I think we have a pretty good shot of actually getting this done. I don't know why I have 0% crit, and also the guy, the guy definitely does not have low cover against me. But whatever, I'll take the 100% chance to hit, I guess. Plus, I could still get down. Like, I could run to cover if I need to. Uh, the Slash is guaranteed to do enough damage to kill the Andromedon shell, leaving Lily free to do some other stuff. Yeah, actually, I like that. Why not take the 100% chance, right? So, like, Lily definitely can't kill that guy. She could go after the Codex. I could use the uh, the combat protocol, but I think I actually want to save it. I'm going to move to here so I have a little bit of cover against him and also cover against the Codex in case I screw this up. Okay, we got there. Man, that's really annoying. That's, um, that's going to make this really hard. Yeah, not having access to him for the rest of the mission is going to make this really difficult. And realistically, there wasn't anything that, like, that was not avoidable. Except by making sure that we killed the uh, Avatar in the first turn, which is not a thing you can actually do. Because he can always... It is always possible for an Avatar to just teleport to a variety of positions that you don't have shots on. Because he can teleport a very significant distance. And also he can always dodge uh, <laughs> any, any attack you fire at him. There's no way to stop the chance to miss when you hit. Okay, so we have no medical supplies of any kind. Dude's just gonna bleed out. I'll be swift. We know now the approximate location of a couple of packs, so I, that's gonna help us. Getting it done. To that position. But yeah, I gotta say, I am not. Uh, not super pleased with this beginning. And I'm especially annoyed that it should not have been necessary. Imagine a freight train that can move virtually undetected in the sky. That's what we have here. The aliens' ability to move material and troops during the war was overwhelming. These ships are a big reason why. I will go. An alien scouting party. Uh, that's a gatekeeper. That's not 
<laughs> Not really scouting. Yeah, man, not having the sharpshooter is actually going to make this really hard. I'm back in. Eyes peeled. So let's hope those guys don't move far enough forward. Okay, they're backing off, actually. And grouping up really tightly, which I appreciate. Not that this is all a bad thing. Our own Avenger is based off this design. I'll bet she'd be invisible if we could ever get her in the sky. We need that power stabilizer. So we throw the Claymore as a homing mine onto the gatekeeper. Yeah, man, I wish we had a sharpshooter, because this would be a really good time to uh, take advantage of squad sight. Cover me! I'm reloading! Alright, yeah, we're going to put the homing mine on the gatekeeper. This burden will cost you dearly. We're not ready to start taking advantage of it yet, but it seems like a pretty foolproof setup move, considering that the gatekeeper is the only one we actually really need to hit with it. Moving to Overwatch. Good to go. Now you see me. Confirmed. No All right, let's uh, let's try to get a little bit lucky here. The Avenger may have started off as a dream, but it's getting ever closer to reality. She may not look the way Dad initially envisioned, but she'll fly. I guarantee it. All right, what I really want is to be able to put a, uh, put like a grenade down in the middle of these guys before doing anything else, but I kind of think this might be the moment for Banish. Just keep shooting till you run out of ammo. No, probably not, right? Let's just shoot at the thing normally. 81% chance to hit. We only have two points of armor piercing. I do want to start by shooting at it, but we need to start by shooting at it with like... Yeah, we need to start by shooting at it with Smiley, really. So I think what I'm going to do here, instead of taking any real action, is just move up and overwatch. Because I think they're they're coming to me. I'm going to try to move this guy out to a position where he's not going to get accidentally run over. Is this Battlelord time? Maybe, actually. But we don't know for sure that they're gonna prompt my uh, that they're they're gonna move forward enough to pull our Overwatch. But I think it's pretty likely that they are. And this is a really good time to get a to get three shots off because this is a, a tough and dangerous pack. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna hope here. Please move forward. If Dad could see me now, leading a field team. The worst part of this is we know they move forward. 
Not sure he'd approve, but I think he'd understand. Because they came forward one step further than this before. When they popped our Overwatch, uh, or when they ran into us last last uh, attempt. I'm going to go for the Rapid Fire. If one of these hits, it would be pretty great. Uh, and we have a pretty good shot, with both of them having a 50% chance to hit. This is a 75% chance to land at least one of these attacks. A little slightly better than that. With a pretty serious chance of getting a crit. We blow up the uh, we blow up the thing, we get the beautiful crit damage. Like I think this is the right way to open this. I think they both hit. That's not a bad start. Okay, how do we want to deal with the chrysalids? I mean, I definitely just want to shoot at the gatekeeper with Smiley. In fact, I think we like we kind of have to, right? I, I gotta get that gatekeeper down. It sucks that our chance of hitting it is so extremely bad, but we have to go for it. It's a shame Hail of Bullets isn't available. We, we have to get the hollow targeting up at the very least so that um, Lily can get it for real damage. So yeah, I think this has to happen. Okay. Hollow targeting has happened. The fact that we couldn't hit that um, is very bad, like devastatingly bad. But we might be okay here. So I could go Banish on the Chrysalid because of the fact that we now have uh, this thing. But we don't have any control over which enemy is targeted next. I would really love it if I could guarantee that we were going to kill both the Chrysalids. So we have three people left. We could... Man... Oh, I can't, I can't grappling hook closer. I'm only grappling hook backwards. Well, that's not ideal. What I really want to do here is throw a grenade and then shoot. Especially considering this like ridiculously low chance to hit the chrysalids. It's very silly. Uh, but we have to get rid of the chrysalids. So I'm going to try a whiplash. Alright, and then we have two chances to, to take down the other one. Okay, that's actually great. So now we still have an action left, even. I have no vision of enemies. So that's bad. Alright, let's get Lily into a shooting position here. We gotta try our best to give this gatekeeper what for. Although I think the odds of us killing it are looking pretty bad. I probably have to go for the banish here. Because I don't think- Lily's not gonna be able to kill it on her own. <laughs> Alright, dude. Okay, so we got him down to three. So now we can just combat protocol him. Which we will do. I I am taking the guaranteed kill. Alright, we're getting through it. I was I was pretty worried about this pack. I actually think the other pack is less dangerous. He's going to teleport somewhere and do something stupid. Can't really interact with him, though. Like... He's just going to get to do a dumb thing. Let's... I'm going to reload. Be ready to shoot him twice next turn if the opportunity presents itself. Uh, he's going to run somewhere and shoot Sonic Power at us. Or Mind con Okay, Mind Control is not too bad. Especially if he doesn't get the... Uh, Ranger, we have a flashbang for this. 
Yeah, I think I just flashbang him. I don't really even need to mess with this. I guess I could just try. I could try to just kill him. Why don't we just try to kill him? Got a lot of health. I guess is one answer. And he did take over a pretty important person. And it is a shame that the flashbang is on the guy who's going to do the most damage with this run up and uh, and get him move. Because if we go for this and then it, the turn doesn't work out, we're in dire shape. Yeah, I'm just going to flashbang him for safety. Frustrated, though. Not the way I want to be doing things. He's immune to flashbangs, so now, actually, we've got the worst of all of the worlds combined into one big terrible world. Uh, let's try to flush him out from behind that tree. Probably a flash wound. Okay, he teleported further away. Fantastic. Uh, how doomed am I? I'll tell you, it's not zero. It's not zero percent doom. Right, right, right. I knew that. Uh, I need... I need you to get me a shot on him. I go. Really? I can't grapple to the... Hmm. Well. That is crappy. Like, I definitely can grapple to that. Okay, Lily gets the execute, or we are in real bad shape. Guess we're in real bad shape. So you gotta run... Yeah, you gotta run for it. I could wrath myself over to the guy maybe take up a cover position, although it's impossible to know where I will land here. Oh, hold on. Now I can grapple. Why couldn't I grapple a second ago? The icon was grayed out. Hmm. I ah, it's a shame. What I really needed was for her to uh, grapple to one of the covered positions around him. There are several. Well, several strong. There's like two. Two of my five potential grapple positions I'd cover. Yep. Well, he didn't manage to crit her all the way to death, so that's a nice change of pace. But she's very killable. Oh, she judged him. And he didn't panic. Please don't kill. Okay. <laughs> this... Oh really? He cha she chain shotted. The stupid dodge went off and it didn't even do anything because dodge is a terrible useless stat. The, the problem with dodge is that while it is potentially powerful, it's completely unreliable. So we are in pretty bad shape. It is rough. But we're not actually dead. We're just very, very close. Okay, Lily is going to have to run up on this guy. Why can I not select Lily? There we go. Of course, he has managed to engineer his position such that I cannot take cover and also shoot him with the flank. So we'll just run up and shoot him with the flank. Right for the crotch. She is bloodthirsty. Ruthless. He teleports further away. Okay, uh... As you order. Hmm... 
Yeah, so I'm not going to be allowed to shoot at the enemy. And we don't have any way of dealing with our unit aside from killing her, so we're going to have two units for the final pack, probably. Okay, so we, we run all the way inside. I can't really get away. But I, like I have to, I have to get away, right? Staying in a place where I can be shot by the uh, heavy is not actually an option. I will move. Still burning. Not that it matters. Hmm, can they do multiple mind controls, or will this break the first one? I'm actually not sure how this works. Okay, they can just do multiple mind controls. That's not so bad. He's at low enough health that, that we can kill him if we just hit him once. Okay, Slash is guaranteed kill. For the shot. Okay, so we managed to barely keep some people alive. Uh, this is a grim position, but not totally unwinnable. Pretty close. Because we're going to have to fight a pretty difficult pack yet, and probably even more than that, right? To try this in the field. It's not really that likely that, uh, that this pack over here is the last one. So actually, I don't want to hack this this turn. I don't want to hack until we're ready to fight the next group of enemies. So what I want to do instead is probably just reload. Locked and definitely loaded. Give me a minute. Reload. Managed to exactly exhaust all of her ammo. Moving on target location. My guess is that there's at least one more group of enemies beyond this group that we know is over here, uh, which is a Grim, grim idea. I stalk my prey. I can cover it. Okay, they're actually outside that door. Got it. I might be too close. Come get some. I'm going to step forward and open that door with the stealthy guy, and we may immediately start the next fight. That is not a door. Never mind. It looks like a door, right? The middle part, look, you can slide that up. Okay. Apparently not. That's a really difficult pack. I do think the gatekeeper pack was worse, but not by like a huge amount. As you command. Gatekeepers are crazy dangerous. Headed there now. It's not really like so are sectopods. Let's go. It's not really that different, I suppose. Sectopods are a little bit easier to kill, I think.
Alright, we still have some pretty big explosives left on the Grenadier. In fact, we still have everything left on the Grenadier. So we could just pop this off right now. But, I think I want to... Well, let's go ahead and get the hack done first. Let's see how their encryption holds up. I'm going to go for Disorient enemies, maybe? Disorient's pretty powerful. Okay, glad I didn't go for the other thing. That's a mission objective, and now the enemies have lowered movement, weakened aim, which is generally less goodness. The enemies have suffered a... A, a serious reduction in goodness. Roger that. On Overwatch. I'm on Overwatch. This would not necessarily be a terrible time uh, for them to step in here and, uh, and start stuff. Definitely worried about them accidentally revealing him. Well, he is really just like out of tricks too. I will reposition. Right, I'm gonna move to here. My watch begins. Please, 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 just walk in and open that door. No, of course not. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to start it up on them. Apparently we're going to have to start it up on them by opening that door, because I cannot quite get the rocket launcher through the wall in the way that I would like. How do I want to do this? It might be a simple, it might really just be as simple as let's open this door. Who does it? It might be Lily. Because I kind of want her available to use all of her actions attacking. This is the last turn that they're disoriented, so we gotta. This is this is the time when we need to start it. We're gonna have a hell of a time surviving this. Surprise! We still do have the ability to get lucky with the uh, repeater executing people. Which we have to go for, right? I mean, this is... Maybe this is an execute thing, but also maybe it's about uh, just blue screening him. Because we, if we could take control of him, that would be pretty huge. can wrath myself out there and then use my next action attacking or wrath myself out there grapple up and then use my next action on that i'm just trying to figure out like how do we get her out there and utilizing the maximum amount of danger chain shot has a 90 percent chance to hit we might actually be able to just kill this thing i mean the upside of the uh the hack plan is that we actually gain a party member which Maybe pretty relevant. But I have to... That requires that I let him survive for a turn. Which is... Very, very dangerous. Well, to 14 damage. We could probably just burn him down. I'm gonna just burn him down. It's too dangerous to let him and the Avatar live. And we won't be able to kill... Probably, there's probably no version of this where we can kill the Avatar. Alright, please, 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 please don't miss this. I need all of this damage. Alright, good start, good start. Get that second one. There we go. So that's hollow targeting and um, all that other good stuff. 
Then we move you to here. Oh, right, she didn't have a, I used her... Well, I used her action to move up. So that is real bad. But also, I... You know what? I'm not sure that it mattered. I don't know that she was going to be capable of... Uh, that's a bad little start. I'm not sure if she was going to be capable of surviving if we just shot directly at the thing, actually. So what are we going to do with Hitchhiker? What I want to do is shoot at this thing twice. And also try destroying this guy's cover. We do need to reduce the number of enemies we're looking at. I made a big mistake with Lily there. I'm like, I'm all the way inside my head. Huh. Wait a minute. Did I go from being able to see that guy to not being able to see him by destroying his cover? <sighs> okay, so some things about this situation are crappy uh, in a way that's my fault, and some of them are crappy in a different way. Well, you can probably kill this guy, right? Six to seven? Yeah, okay, this is something. one enemy down. Are you gonna stay stealthed? Yes. Cool. Maybe cool. Probably cool. I'm like really upset about that though. That's... That's very bizarre. So what do I even want to do here? I suppose maybe this is an okay time for interrupt. We're not really going to be able to go to work on this guy until next turn. I can't shoot him. I could, like, I could go up to here. Unfortunately, there's no um, target preview on grapples. Yeah, there's a there's a, uh, a reticle on his health bar indicating that we can shoot him. But it's even there if we go to these positions where we definitely can't shoot him from. So, I don't know why there's no target preview on grapples, uh, but that's very bad. I'm going to do interrupt. Muton out there shows himself. Maybe we could do something. So, if I go for the justice here, it's more likely to hit than the other attack, and it might make him teleport back out. Hit him, set him on fire, and then he teleports out. Okay, teleported real deep there. But that, that was actually pretty good. And then she judges him, and he is immune to that kind of nonsense. He's not immune to it, but it doesn't work on him. <laughs> it's a subtle distinction. Okay. I believe he gets more than one attack, though. So we're not out of the woods yet on this. Oh, now he's got the Wrath Cannon. That sounds bad. Okay, he's setting up his Wrath Cannon, but he's not actually using it yet, so that's good. Uh, and we get to do an awful lot of damage to him. I think we can kill him this round. So this guy's got his Overwatch up. Can we shoot him to remove his Overwatch? Because I would really like it if he didn't shoot Lily as, as she approached the enemy. The other thing we can do is just shoot this guy and, like... How damaged is she? Pretty damaged. Oh. What is the right move? The right move is probably just dump into this guy and... Yeah, I can't afford to do anything other than shoot at him, I think. We could grapple. He's in a position now where he's probably visible from here. Yeah, there's not a post or anything in front of him. I think we need the extra chance to hit.
Doesn't feel like a lot of damage, but it's pretty good. Uh, I probably should have ruptured first, although I guess we're at the point now where a hit is lethal, so it doesn't... Yeah, using rupture then would have been wrong. So am I flanked by that guy from here? And the Muton can't see this. One, two, three. There's pretty good odds of a kill here, and if this doesn't work, we have a really clean shot. Okay. Yeah, we have a really clean shot from outside, is what I was going to say. So now that that guy is dead, this pack is much more manageable. I think I'm going to go for the 91% chance here. And if we pull this guy's Overwatch, then Lily can run over and finish him off. And then it's the four of us against that uh, that Avatar, which is not is not a foregone conclusion, to be clear. Avatars are very dangerous, but it's the best we're going to get. We're in a real beggars and choosers kind of situation here. Do I want to just combat protocol this guy? No, I want to save combat protocol for uh, for the Avatar. Because he may be able to teleport into high cover and so, you know, he can make it really hard for us to hit him. And Combat Protocol is good at dealing with that. Right, so this guy's on fire, which is disabling some of his abilities, but making it more likely that he will just shoot at me. Kind of a mixed blessing. Fortunately, he doesn't really have great angles. Okay. I need Smiley to land that rupture now. This is the time. 85%, this would be a really, really big deal. Okay. We may survive this yet. Not that I necessarily des deserve to, but I may. I think we gotta take the, uh, take the good shot that we are offered, right? Forty-five percent crit chance into the rupture with blood trail up. Yep, and combat protocol kills him. All right, I knew we were banking all those abilities for something. Hold on. Okay, that was the uh, that was the final guy. I was not confident that was the final pack, so I figured if we could save the combat protocol, that would maybe be a good idea. All right, well, rating good this is a very loose definition of good. I did not do a great job uniformly there, but hey, we came out the other side and we're technically alive, and that's even a gold medal. And now we have all these cool helmets. Congratulations are in order, Commander. I don't know, man. I guess I did an alright job of getting through the end part of that difficult mission with a severely uh, diminished force. Lose it, man, of all the units to lose, I think the Sharpshooter was one of the most painful right away. That was... that was bad. I did... I did bad. But, we're on the other side of it, so... Let's focus on the future. That was uh, gold clear, so we've unlocked the Lazarus Project here. As word of a growing resistance movement spreads, the elders are increasingly desperate to find the, the still-grounded Avenger. During one of her field excursions, Shen is captured by a special unit of Advent soldiers assembled solely to hunt the Avenger. During her time in captivity, Shen learns that this Advent team has been taking prisoners from among the various resistance cells for some time. It's up to Central and the resurgent XCOM to save these future heroes of the Resistance before it's too late. Uh, yeah, alright, that sounds fun, and we get a Templar and a Reaper and Bradford back. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is, for a three-man team, this is pretty good. But that is going to be us for today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time when I probably play better. No promises, though. And we'll see you then.